Yo, what's going on guys? So the other day we dropped a video where I was just trying to highlight the power of the arc thrower, but the intro honestly made it seem like it was going to be an actual training on using the weapon, and that's my bad, I'm sorry. But there have already been multiple videos on this weapon that actually inspired me to make my own video on showcasing its power, and I had wrongly assumed that people already knew how to shoot this gun since there are already some videos on it, so I will be posting links for these in my description and the pinned comment. Go check them out and help build up the Helldivers community on YouTube, as these guys are all posting good content as well. And let's get into my five tips and tricks for using this weapon properly. But right before we get into the tips, as always, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content, and I will keep making Helldivers 2 content showcasing weapons I think are underrated, so let's get straight into it. So the five problems I noticed people were having uh, from the comment section that I'm giving tips on are how to rapid fire this weapon, how to deal damage damage to enemies in some different situations, how to deal with terrain getting in the way, getting some elevation on enemies, and probably most importantly, how to avoid killing teammates with this gun a little bit more. So the first thing we should talk about is how to rapid fire this gun. Now I've had people say to full charge this gun before rapid firing it, and I don't think that's even necessary, but I did notice sometimes when it wasn't shooting arcs, full charging it would fix it. So basically, you just want to get down the timing of shooting this gun as fast as possible. But I think the number one tip that's going to help you rapid fire this is that you can start charging this gun as soon as you let go of the shot. So literally the second you let go of the trigger, start charging the trigger again. And then it's just a matter of practicing the timing to shooting this thing fast as possible. One other little tip is that it's probably better to hold the charge a little too long rather than letting go early because if you let go too early you won't get a shot off at all and it's gonna take longer that way because you know if you don't shoot for a couple seconds then that's not rapid fire and another thing is upon playing with this gun more i didn't notice any damage drop off or arcs not chaining to as many enemies by not full charging this but that's just what i observed is that rapid firing this gun always felt better than not rapid firing it. And again, that's just based on my feelings with the weapon. I'm not 100% sure if there really is no difference in a 70% versus a full charge. Now for tip number two, let's talk about a couple different enemies in situations where this gun feels like it struggles until you really get used to it and then you can kind of deal with those situations well. So first off is the scout riders. When you shoot their big shields, you would think it would arc and connect to the dude riding on it, but for some reason it doesn't. You simply just have to aim for these guys' legs and it will kill them or knock them off and then the next shot will kill them. It's just slightly clunky against them, but it's not that big of a deal. Next, we got enemies that run really fast and get really close to you. Now, I gave the tip in my last video to dive backwards, but it turns out you could just shoot these guys if you don't aim down your sights and it will hit close up enemies. Now, it still is a bit clunky against enemies that are too close because it's a charging weapon. So I honestly recommend if an enemy is in your face, just switch to your primary, switch to your secondary, shoot out all the close guys and then pull back out the arc thrower for all the mid-range guys. And one quick tip for pretty much chargers, the armored enemies that where you can kind of chip off their armor with this gun, always shoot the same spot and always aim at their leg. And this thing will usually shoot off the armor on the leg and or chip it. And then you can switch to your primary after about three to four shots of the arc thrower and spray down those chips in the armor. Now, if there's multiple chargers or a charger running with a horde of enemies, don't swap off of this gun. Just keep spraying the arc thrower into the charger to kill all the enemies surrounding it. And chargers die in about eight to nine hits from this gun, which is a lot faster than you might think. But all those shots, like I said, are gonna arc to the enemies around it. So honestly, don't even swap to your primary unless you get in a situation where there's just a lone charger or if he separates from the group and runs towards you, then you want to swap and kill him faster. Now, when it comes to Bile Titans, I'm actually dropping another video probably today on how to kill Bile Titans faster since it seems like they buffed how much health they have, but there is actually a trick for taking them out and you guys are just going to have to wait for the next video on that one. And there are just some different enemies in different situations you want to deal with in different ways. So if there's ever an enemy this gun feels clunky against, I notice just try to switch up the shooting pattern and we're about to talk about the shooting pattern in a second. And usually you can deal with pretty much every enemy in the game, except for Bile Titans and tanks. This gun feels a little bit clunkier again. Now we're going to cover the next three problems, which are terrain blocking you from shooting enemies or dead bodies 
how to avoid killing teammates nearby enemies, and then also my tip of getting higher elevation against enemies. We're gonna cover this all at once. So I would say that 90% of shots being blocked by terrain or team killing all come from poor elevation or poor shot placement. The way this gun fires is it kind of feels like a whip. So I like to aim above enemies and drag down until I find the perfect elevation that it arcs to them based on the distance. Now, I don't think this gun actually works like a whip, but it really feels like that. So I sort of like shooting it like that because it helps me feel around for the right spot for the right enemy in the right situation. You'll learn the more that you use this gun that if it's not killing something, it's because you're kind of shooting it at the wrong spot. For 90% for of enemies, you want to aim above them. Except for the scout riders, shoot their legs, so you want to aim a little lower. But 90% of the time, you want to aim just slightly above enemies. Now, what's cool is this tip will help with terrain and dead bodies. If you aim above the terrain, aim above the dead bodies, aim slightly above the enemies, you'll notice that it jumps over all that stuff and won't uh, messing your shot up nearly as much as if you're aiming straight at them. And I like running the jump pack with the arc thrower to get myself up on a rock, get myself up on higher elevation, and this is also going to help you stop team killing, because if one of your teammates is in front of you and you're at a way higher elevation, you can shoot this thing above their head and it won't arc to them because this thing pretty much only arcs behind whatever enemies you're shooting and a little bit sideways. And you'll notice in the clip I'm playing, I'm only using the little bit of elevation from this hill I'm on. I'm not actually up on a rock or up anywhere crazy, but ju even just a little bit of elevation really, really helps this gun out a lot. And I'm gonna freeze frame right here where I killed my teammate. Now notice that the reason I did this is because there was only one enemy left near my teammate while an entire group of enemies are off to the right. And I think two rules will stop 90% of team killing with this weapon. Don't shoot the enemy closest to your teammate. And if there's only one enemy left, swap to your primary. Because this gun will always arc. Now I notice if there's like, let's say there's a group of four enemies and then my teammate is just to the left of them. Just an example, you want to shoot the either one of the middle enemies or the furthest enemy away from your teammate because if you put as many bodies between your teammate and your initial target, then it'll stop team killing so much. Now, if there's an enemy directly between you and your teammate, probably switch to your primary. Like I said, if there's only one enemy left and that'll stop most of the team killing. And now time for one bonus tip is whenever there's an enemy around a corner, you can actually shoot the dead bodies and use that to your advantage. You could shoot the dead body and it'll arc over to that enemy. Now I got this clip where I didn't really need to shoot at the dead body, but I just wanted to show that this was possible because I was using it earlier in some other footage that I can't find, but this is actually really helpful for killing bots around a corner so that they can't call a drop in and that's gonna be it for this video I wanted to keep it shorter and condensed so it was really only three tips but it solves multiple problems if you have any more tips or tricks for this weapon comment them down below because the tips and tricks on my first video about this gun helped me out in making this video as well I saw some people saying they were killing bile titans in two to three shots but I was trying on bile titans all night and I really just couldn't figure it out now I do actually know how to kill bile titans faster and I figured that out in my last arc thrower video, but I'm saving that for a separate video altogether because that makes way more sense to be its own video. And I'll probably post that today. So just wait for my next upload and be sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to get notified for that upload. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.